everybody and welcome back to another episode of the guru room for the guru room today we've got a very great guest and his name is clark fur 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 long and i'm really looking forward to, to talking to him he's he's an amazing young young guy actor and he was in euphoria television series and and currently he's going to be one 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 of the big big people in stephen king's horror television series lee 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 c story and it's based off of course a stephen king book and clark is actually going to be in the series and we're going to talk to him about being in this stephen king series and a whole bunch of other stuff i am rocco cross i am the host of stutters i am the host of the guru room and my interview with clark is coming up next Okay, welcome, welcome to Gru, and thanks so so much for coming on and being a guest on my show today. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank, thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. And how's how's your day going right now in Philly? It's like really, really hot, and we're in a bad heat heat wave, and it, oh, it's yeah. horrible. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's going good. I'm home from school so that's always a plus good had a bit of math homework but you know that that goes quick so the okay. day is going well <laughs> so when when do you go back to school we're actually back really? already we only only had six weeks of school it was so sad of uh, summer break actually not school oh wow yeah so we we went back on the ninth, which was way too soon in my opinion. <laughs> yeah, like they they usually wait another month, right? Yeah, I mean, like everyone else, it's like September, and I'm like, oh, so much more. <laughs> oh no, that sucks. It's terrible. <laughs> but you know what are you gonna do? It's the school system. <laughs> I oh. know, right? Exactly. Did did I at least have like air air conditioner in the classroom? They do. Like, thank goodness. But sometimes it's a little too conditioned, and you're just like, <laughs> okay, now now we're cold. Now we get the coats. <laughs> and you just walk outside during any point, and you're like, oh, okay, it's <laughs> summer, right? <laughs> Oh man, where where do you where do you live at that they started school so soon? I'm in Virginia, uh, Stafford, and I don't know why why they made this decision, but you know, to the benefit of the students, they say. So <laughs> <laughs> I have no idea. The school board was just like, you know what? This seems like a good idea. Oh my god. And then just they ran with it. So Okay. Oh no. <laughs> it, it, it's terrible, but oh well. At least we'll we'll be done with it sooner. Hopefully. True. True. Like you'll probably be one of the the first schools to to end yeah. to end and end school soon and everyone else would still be be in class saying, Why is he home? I hope so. <laughs> I, I really hope so. Just, you know, we get out that four weeks early. Oh, that would be so nice. Right, exactly. <laughs> so, so, like, do, do you, um, do you, do you play any, any sports for school or, or I do not. In any clubs or anything? Uh, I'm thinking about, uh, starting a Dungeons and Dragons club, uh, but we haven't, I keep honestly I keep forgetting to email the uh club coordinator person okay. and I thought that there was going to be a uh German club so I've recently started to learn German and I wow. thought it would be fun to join the club but I can't find it I'm like I, I'm looking through like all of the listed clubs and it's just like yep okay that's uh like sports club there's the mm -hmm. uh like the bowl club i don't know what that is and then i 
I see like the Spanish club. I'm like, there's no German. Come on. Everything else has its club. Oh no. Like you you learn German just, just so you could be in this club and now it's not even there. No, not not just for the club. I thought it would be fun to join the club, you know, and have, you know, learn German oh. and join the club. And actually it's a dream of mine to move to uh Switzerland where oh, wow. uh the language is German. So that would be, you know, it's helpful for the long it's helpful for the long run as well. Definitely, yeah, especially if if you wind up moving there. Yeah, I actually started to get interested in German uh, during uh, Lisi's story. It was uh, the production moved to Germany, and wow. like I fell in love. Like it was the country is beautiful, and like I was like, oh my gosh, I can't speak the language. This would be so awesome if I could speak this language. And so that inspired me to start learning German. Wow, that's awesome. Nice. Yeah. And, and I, I see I was I was like looking looking at some like stuff and I see you're a big fan of of D and D, right? Uh-huh. <laughs> so yeah, that how long, how how long have have you been playing that for? Uh, I think my dad introduced it to me two years ago, and I've been playing a regular session with him every, you know, month or two for the past two years. So not long, but it's really fun. I've enjoyed the time with my family and getting to know new people with the game. Oh, wow. Nice. So, so like every, like the whoever lives in your household, like everyone, everyone plays it? Well, not everyone, I wish, but <laughs> my older brother, Emmett, and then my younger sister, Roan, uh, both play uh, with me and my dad. And my, the oldest of us, Wyatt, is, you know, he's looking for jobs and stuff. So gotcha, gotcha. he's a little busy and, you know, mom's doing her writing thing. You can actually Right above my head, you can see her book, which is oh, nice. Okay, it's a, it's a good read. Oh wow, yeah. Uh, your your mom writes and acts too, right? She does. Um, mostly writing right now, but she was is a professional actor and has been for thirty years. Oh wow, yeah. And so she's been a great help to me in the uh, acting process. Wow, that's awesome. Nice and. And now she even she even has has books too, so everyone could could read what what she writes. Does she write about like how to get into to acting and stuff? No, she writes uh, mostly about how to describe it. Um, young adult paranormal uh, adventure. Oh, that's so awesome! Nice. Well, or it's I don't want to. If anyone watches this, does end up reading it, it's it's really fun. Okay, okay, sweet. It's, so, like, I'm I'm guessing by like writing that she's she's big into paranormal and horror. And how about you? Are you are a fan at all? Well, my older brother Wyatt is obsessed with horror. Anything horror, I can't. I love being in horror like the special effects and like the process of making it is awesome but i am a scaredy cat and i don't like i don't like to watch it i'm i am not a fan of the jump scares okay <laughs> so like you you've done some some horror i i i saw you were in a horror film bad witch and the stephen king series so like, are, would you watch yourself in a horror show? Oh, yes. Oh, okay. yes. Because for me, it's like once once you know the person mm -hmm. uh, on the other side of the screen and you know what's going on, uh, it's manageable. But for Lisi's story, um, anything, my parents' role is anything you're in, you can watch. Okay. So I watched that with them and I just, 
I couldn't stop smiling. Like it was really stressful and like, <laughs> oh, terrifying. But I was just like, this is so awesome. Nice. <laughs> I, I knew the people and I knew like, I, I had an idea of what was going to happen. So. Okay. Okay. And, yeah. and um, like you wanted, what, wanted to ask like you uh you 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 were on like a big hit television show as you you play young at jewels right yes and how how was that like like being on the show and i saw like the cast that's in in the television series and it's it's a it's a really good cast yeah i mean thank you and let's see how was it i mean it was my first time like on a set like that. And so there was a lot of learning involved. I'm sure. Um, but also like everyone was really nice. Um, how to describe it though? First off, the director, Sam, is a crazy person. So <laughs> when he had an idea, like, it happened. He went with it. And he was like, okay, what if we did this? Mm -hmm. And there was one scene where um, he, we had, where we had, um, I can't remember his character name, uh, but I remember his real name, Ariel. He was in the psychiatric ward and he mm -hmm. was pounding on the cushion, on a cushion door. And Sam was like, pound harder and he put his hand through the door <laughs> if it had been anyone else like oh there would God. have been big trouble but it was since it was him it was really funny <laughs> and you know it's things like that that were really that really made the show awesome or working on the show like really fun wow that, that definitely sounds fun yeah Unfortunately, you know, since all of my scenes were in flashbacks, I didn't get mm -hmm. to interact with most of the cast. I did get to meet Hunter Schaefer as she was literally arriving and I was heading back to my trailer. Oh, wow. So we got to talk for like five minutes, um, which was fun. Yeah. Oh, wow. Nice. And, was... and now the, this horror series you're in based off of Stephen King's book. Um, so tell tell us about like the series and who you play in it well okay so lisi's story is about a widow who is going through her husband's things and it's about what she finds out about him and his past and i play uh, the husband's older brother in flashbacks that really helped to build the tension of the story Wow. Well, you you've uh, you're you're in quite a bit of the flashback scenes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Almost <laughs> all of them. <laughs> and do you do you mind reading Stephen King's book before you you went on set just to have an idea on what the series was going to be be about? Yes. Yeah, for the, actually, it was really funny because they didn't, um, I read it before the audition, I think, oh, because okay. they sent um, us sides and they were like, you can't print these, you can't like, you can only download them onto one computer. And I was like, <laughs> oh no, I need some context. <laughs> and so I went, I checked out the book from the library and was just like, quick, 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 and read it and Great read, by the way. Uh, a little bit easier to follow in the book. Oh, really? Um, yeah, but it it gave me an a good idea of like what was going around in my scenes. So like it wasn't just like okay, just random plop of uh, dramatic screaming and shouting. It's like <laughs> okay, this just happened um, to my character, and so this is how he's reacting to that so that was nice to know oh nice okay sweet sweet and what did what what do you like best about about playing paul 
Hmm. Is it wrong to say the makeup? No, like, of course not. <laughs> the special effects were so awesome. Um, there was one day where I spent three hours in the makeup chair just getting uh, the pieces on. Three was, hours. Three hours. And then it was another two to get it off. Oh, my God. Yeah. And I was uh, so I'm watching this thing and I'm like, oh, my gosh, I can't wait. And it's there for like three minutes. And I'm like, oh, I spent seven days like putting this thing off and taking it off for like three minutes. Come on. I was so, oh, come on. Oh, well. Oh, well. But it was. And just getting to meet all the people as well. Like that was awesome as well. Okay. <laughs> Man, that's, uh, I mean, was it was it hot having all that stuff on you, like all the all the makeup and whatever else they attached to you? No, actually, um, it was the weather was really cold there, oh, so it was exactly. like an extra bonus layer of insulation, <laughs> and it wasn't over my entire body; it was like just over my head, um, like down here, mm -hmm. and it was actually so cold some days that I was like, you know what, let me go grab the neoprene suit. It's like a, if you've ever been surfing, it's like a wetsuit that you can put on under your clothes and stuff. Oh, okay. To keep you warm. So not hot, but it, it was a very nice addition to keep me warm. Oh, wow. Nice. <laughs> and and I, I was like reading reading something else you did and and you were saying like there's there's a scene where your your character paul has to eat like raw meat so how how was that scene like well so <laughs> that fun funny story the prop designer comes up to me and says all right in a, like in an hour or so we're gonna need to like have you taste these meats and just like okay them or not i'm like okay cool i go in and they're like none of these are real meat these are like soy that one's like beans and that one's uh something else and i'm like okay uh <laughs> that one tastes like plastic that one tastes more like plastic and that one tastes like soy or whatever it was made out of oh okay. um and so none of them were amazing but <laughs> I you know, it, it, they were fine. So I get on set and he hands me this like glob <laughs> of red juicy meat. And I'm like, what happened? Huh? <laughs> and, you know, it's he's like steak tartare. Oh, my God. And I was like, thank you. <laughs> And so, like, the, the meatballs that you see me eating are steak tartare. Oh, my God. Um, and they were delicious. Nice. But I, I asked him, like, what changed? And he said, oh, we found out you ate meat. <laughs> and I was like, wait, you didn't know that before? My, my double was vegetarian. And they thought oh. he was, um, they thought I was him. And they thought <sighs> I was going to be. I thought they thought I was vegetarian as well. Oh, wow. That's crazy. Yeah. But <laughs> most delicious meatball covered in mud ever. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I, I'm uh, uh, Italian. So like that kind of, I love sausage and meatballs and all that stuff. So uh, that, that, that sounds great. <laughs> it was it was quite the quite the surprise. <laughs> and how was the cast and set like for for the series? Oh, the sets, man, they were gorgeous. Oh, um, nice. The first, so the in there's a forest, Buya Moon, and it the whole thing was built in this massive warehouse and it was gorgeous. I mean, like everything was like done by hand and oh, wow. 
I couldn't believe it. It was like not small, like three <laughs> or 400 trees and, you know, a few thousand leaves on each one. So, Damn. I mean, it, it was gorgeous, football field size. And then uh, the house uh, where my character spends his life, uh, mm -hmm. that was in, I think, a national park in Germany. Oh, wow. So it was like out in the middle of nowhere, but <laughs> the um, design crew had redone it and like built these huge structures and made it look all overgrown. Like if you watch the series, you'll see this ocean of mud at the bottom. And mm -hmm. believe it or not, that was a like green manicured lawn before that. <laughs> and they had just come in with this dump truck of clay and just piled it on until it was just this ocean and i mean it was the sets were amazing wow my, if my favorite part of the germany set was uh the set designer uh guy sweat the sweeping of the mud there was to like erase footprints like if someone like walked across, they'd leave footprints. And so they would sweep the mud. And my favorite memory was of him going like, no, no, sweep it like this. And it's just <laughs> sweeping mud. And you're like, there shouldn't be a tech, but there is, there's a technique. I I never knew there was a technique to, to sweep in mud. That's, that's, that's uh, good to know. <laughs> apparently so. <laughs> The optimum way to erase footprints. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and um, I, like I, I don't know if you're allowed to say or anything, but is is there any scene you like you like the most? Like a scene you had the most fun with? Oh, I don't know. I mean, the whole thing was such such a blast if i had to choose a favorite scene maybe walking through the forest in booyah moon okay. um that one was just so surreal because it really was like walking into another world wow. like two steps and all around you it's this you know, fabricated place, but it's, I don't, it's special. It's, so I think that would have to be my favorite scene. Okay. Okay. Nice. Nice. And did you, did you get to work at all with, with Jul Julian Moore? No, unfortunately not. We are in two separate timelines, oh. so we never got to um, work together. That was, I did get to meet her though, which oh, was good. really awesome. Um, we got to talk for like 20 minutes and that was, that was definitely a highlight. Yeah, she's, she's, she's been in, she's been in a lot of stuff. Yeah. And she's, like, you know how you expect those, the, the famous people to be like, you know, all uppity? Yeah, no. exactly. Like, she's just like a, a regular person. Wow. Like, not like all high and mighty, just like someone you could have a conversation with. Awesome. Well, I, I, I love hearing that. Like, you know, if, if someone meets like a big big star and and the star is actually cool and real down to earth instead of acting like like a jerk <laughs> yeah yeah like not everyone is like that and it's nice to like meet someone and be like oh you're not like that yeah i like you <laughs> <laughs> And you know, like how 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 does it actually feel? Like I mean, Stephen King has been around for years, and all his like horror books were bestsellers. His movies were were 
not for number one films like how does it actually fail to be in a Stephen King series I mean uh, exhilarating <laughs> there's I'm not sure if there's a way to describe it I mean it's kind of like working on uh it was it was kind of like working on euphoria um mm-hmm. and just again the people um everyone was super excited to be there and they really wanted to make it the best it could be like no one was like ah oh, going to work again right like, everyone was like there engaged and just like all right how are we going to make this awesome see that that's that's like the only way to do like if you're going to be on set whether it's a movie or a tv series you can't motor making it feel like work like making it feel like a job because let's face it when when people work outside of acting no one likes going to their job (laughs) yeah that's the truth like i love acting like if the plan is just do it for the rest of my life like it's something that I have fun with and like it allows me to see the world and meet cool people, which was the plan. So oh, yeah, nice. Yeah. As long as you stay like that, you should be good. Like as long as you keep on going for the roles and the, whatever mm-hmm. you're in, whether it be a film or a TV series, and you, you you stay like positive and happy, like that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. And I I heard you actually met Stephen King on set. So like I did. That that, that must have been crazy, like to, to actually like come come face to face with him. <laughs> to be totally honest, my mom had to shove me forward. Like I was like, oh. you know, it's the little like you know, the penguin walk up. And oh my gosh, he was so nice. Like <laughs> didn't he like came in but then was like oh right and did the elbow thing and it was like meeting your or seeing your favorite grandfather like who you haven't seen in a year and you're just you you want to talk to him for like an hour and at one point like we only got to talk for a couple minutes again Uh because I caught him like 20 minutes before he left Um, oh okay so he he actually would come to see all of the different sets uh, which was really nice uh, before before COVID. Yeah. Um, so I got to meet. I got to see him like a minute before he left. But like he didn't. He didn't try and rush the conversation. It was. I mean, at one point he thanked me for being on the show, and I was That's like, awesome. I should be thanking you for like <laughs> letting me say hi. I was totally shocked. But again, one of those famous people was just, just lovable. <laughs> I'm, you, you know, it's funny too, because like when you think of Stephen King, like, I mean, the guys wrote some crazy horror stuff and, and you would think like the guy, you know, when you meet him, the guy would be crazy or something, right? But mm-hmm. he, he's, he's normal. <laughs> he's normal. Like, <laughs> you never would have thunk it like he's just a normal guy (laughs) (laughs) and and he was part like when before COVID hit and stuff like he was he was actually on on set like for for different shoots I don't know I I only know that he came to see each individual set okay um but he was definitely part of the process. Like he was the person who wrote the scripts. So there, if you read the book and watch the movie, there are some differences, but he's the person who was like, yeah, for COVID, we, we, we can change that. That's fine. (laughs) So actually Pablo, the director um, would send him the clips from the day, uh, Uh everything he'd edited together. And he would get feedback and then he would tell us and it was like oh my gosh 
I'm wow. getting feedback from Stephen King. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's that's definitely awesome. Yeah, it, it was like, wow, <laughs> I can't believe that's actually happening. And did you did you do any any stunts for the for the series? Uh, let me think. Well, I did. There are two scenes that I think might be considered stunts. Um, okay. I did roll around in the mud trying to kill my um, my br brother, um, <laughs> which was uh, fun and dirty. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> uh, so um, I guess that could be that could be a stunt, and then. Oh, yeah. um, Oh, this is definitely a stunt. Uh, I was, there's a scene where my character pulls a tractor forward. Like if you've ever seen one of those big farm tractors, yeah, exactly. he's chained to one of those and he just starts moving forward and just pulls it with him. And oh. I got to do that, which was really fun. Oh, wow. I, I mean, those 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 things have some weight to it. <laughs> yeah, especially the tractor. It was heavy. I'm sure it was. I was about to say, damn, you have to you, you have to pull that by yourself. No one pushing it. <laughs> no, no, no. I, that, that thing was like, I don't know, 1,200 pounds. Oh, my God. And you were there was like that. four people or five people all pushing it from behind. Wow. I wish I could have moved it by myself. That would have been the best story to tell. I know, right? <laughs> well, was there any like funny or cool behind the scenes stories that 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 happened on set while you were filming? Um oh, this one is pretty funny. So every every day um the mud would dry out and so they'd have to re water the mud and um one of the days our second ad um scott uh got to do it and they brought out a fire truck so with oh. like tons of water because yes, exactly it was like soaking into the ground or running off one of the two and he was so happy getting to spray down the mud it was it was really funny uh, to watch. It's just like this massive grin on his face as he's taking this fire hose and is just like uh, hosing down the field. <laughs> <laughs> and like, I mean, you're in you're in this Stephen King horror series, and I I also see you were in a horror film as well called Bad Bad Witch and. You mm -hmm. you you play the younger version of the lead male witch. Yes. Um, I uh, that was so long ago. I don't <laughs> I don't remember a lot about that. Um, that was uh, it was a one day shoot, uh, okay. so it wasn't a lot of time there. But it was in the scene. I think there is a skeleton, if I remember correctly. Like my uh father uh like there's a guy tied to a chair and he just incinerates him oh wow uh, right you know right there and seeing that was really cool I'm like sure. seeing like the skeleton part and that was another part or part of getting to like know the process of like how the movies are made and starting to like enjoy it and love it. Nice, nice. And what do you what do you do during during your 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 free time when when you're not in school or acting or? Well, um, I am an outdoors person. I go hiking, kayaking, whatever keeps me outside. If I'm not doing that, then I am playing D&D. &D. 
<laughs> with my friends or I am playing music with my siblings. Um, we have a band, Sibling Rivalry, and um, it's really great to play with them. Nice. So that's a couple of the things that I do in my free time. Okay. Do you like going going to camp camping too? Oh yes. Yeah, I love camping. I love that. That's my favorite thing to do. Like it's my friends so like the fun. beach, but I like camping. <laughs> yes. The beach you get sunburned. Camping, you can avoid the mosquitoes. That's true. <laughs> you good bug repellent is always needed, unless you're going in like late fall or you know, early spring. Mm hmm. Exactly. Exactly. I, I mean, just like the feeling of, of, of it, like, you know, oh, yeah. sleep, sleeping in a tent, being being outdoors, like it, it, mm -hmm. just it's great. It's a great, a great feeling. It is like just being out in nature and mm -hmm. like just there's no it's quiet. Uh, there's no cars. There's no you know sirens there's mm -hmm. no background hum of the air conditioning it's exactly it's so it's calm yes yes and like the one thing i like most about it is i'm i'm like 24 7 always looking on my phone and and it's it's a nice break from not looking at your phone like you put your phone down for a couple of days and just yeah be just, out there yeah it's like the phone is like a tether, but like if you just you when you put that down and just be out there, it's it's awesome. Like yeah, I know. there's nothing there's nothing to do but enjoy where you are. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> and and you said like you're in a band too and stuff. Like do you have have you and your band played shows yet or? Is it yes. like just, oh, oh, you have played, played oh. shows. Yep, we have, uh, when it's open, uh, the Virginia Renaissance Festival, we've been performing there for uh, five years. Oh, wow, nice. And um, uh, I think three years ago, uh, we started at the new West Virginia Renaissance Festival. Oh, and sweet. That's uh, the West Virginia Renaissance Festival is really great. It's new. So like there's a lot of development, like the uh, owner of the fair has been building it up. So there's a ton of buildings, which is really awesome. And like everyone there, it's great music. Um, we've been playing, we mostly play um, Celtic music, which is traditional oh. Irish and yeah. Scottish music. So it's it's great for the um it's great for the Renaissance festivals. Definitely, yes. Nice. And like speak like what kind of, of, of songs do you like listening to? Like what's on your play playlist? Well, uh I do enjoy I recently okay, this is gonna sound weird. <laughs> I recently found a genre of music that is Sea, sea shanties that have been re lyriced into I like rock. Oh, really? Yeah, it, it's weird, but they're awesome. And Celtic rock is awesome, yes. or I like it. And then some, uh, let's see, I listen to what. Honestly, I kind of sometimes I put on the recommended for you page. Uh, no, yeah. And if I come course. across a song that I like and I just I just hit um add to my list. Nice. <laughs> and do you I, I I mean, I don't I don't know if you have a lot of free time or not, but do do you do you like watching television and are you binge watching anything? Well, I try. <laughs> um I I, I I try and watch TV. Like there's some shows, um, Prodigal Son, that's no, a show that I was in and I started watching it and I really loved the show, nice. but then it ended. 
<laughs> yeah. And so like, I can't decide on like what, what I should watch next. And so um, paired with um, school starting and um, acting and other stuff, it's, you know, I don't really have a lot of time to watch, to sit down and like watch TV, but I do watch Ted Lasso with my family. Yes. Every, yes. every whenever it comes out. <laughs> okay. And you know, there, there is a Stephen King horror series coming to watch as well. <laughs> oh, I don't know. <laughs> Jump scares. <laughs> and um, like what? what apps do you what what app do you like best like are you are you a tiktok guy a instagram guy a i'm Snapchat? an instagram guy um <laughs> i i had tiktok for three days um mm -hmm. and then i just i never logged on um <laughs> and so uh i am i'm an instagram person okay. i'm mainly on instagram uh and i I pay attention to Instagram. <laughs> okay, yeah, definitely. <laughs> you, you know, I have to say, I I love your your cat. When you were talking, I saw your cat walking like Aww. in the room. Yeah, he <laughs> he passed away the other day, which is really sad. Oh no, he um. Yeah, that was that was sad. But oh no, I'm sorry. I mean, he came to our house like seven, ten years ago. So he was he was old. Yeah. We have no idea how old he was when he got here. So he might have been like thirty six. You know, <laughs> thirty six. <laughs> but you know, he he got in he he always wanted to be in the house and as you saw he got in exactly and is there anything coming out next like you would you would like like the push or plug or anything like any any project you're working on or i um, not at the moment um it's it's the quiet season like right now everything from last year is shooting so in let i think september or mid august it will it starts picking up and really going but nothing right now i am working on graduating early from high school because oh i'm 511 and <laughs> um it's 18 to look younger so i need to be able to um go up for those parts well yeah exactly Nice. Okay. Yeah. Well, good. Good luck with like getting getting more roles and and you never know it with this Stephen King series. A lot of horror 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 people might look at you and want to catch you for for horror series and horror films. Fingers crossed. I I love I love being a part of it. I'm just scared. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just the guy who's like, yeah, I'll go get the popcorn. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You need another refill of your drink? Okay. <laughs> and for for the fans that are gonna to watch us, like where where can fans find you at? Like what's your pages? Uh you can find me at um I am Clark Furlong on Instagram and then Clark Furlong on Twitter. Sweet. All right, well. I want to thank you again for take for taking time out. I mean, I know you're in school, so you got stuff and all that. So thanks again for 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 taking time out and and doing the interview. Thank you for reaching out. This was really fun. Yes, that definitely was. I really, really, I really had fun. It was fun talking to you and 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 yeah, was... um, good luck with school and everything too. Thank you. Yeah. Uh -huh. I'll need it. <laughs> I mean, there some classes are pretty easy, but some I'm just like, oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, that's how it is with some classes. Like, you know, some 
some classes are fun, some classes are easy, and then you got the ones that are like extremely hard that you cringe going into the room. Uh huh. Uh huh. <laughs> Thankfully, the the class that's like that it has the most comfortable chairs. So oh, good. <laughs> going into the room is pretty easy. It's just the the work that we do have to do. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for having me. Definitely, buddy. Definitely, it was fun. Yeah. All right, well, just want to say again, thanks, and have a good night, and good you rest too. of the week. You too. Uh, All right. I wish you well. Thanks, buddy. <laughs>